Achilles in this opera is well, it's a, it's a very interesting character. Of course, we know a lot about the great warrior, which is Achilles, the famous Achilles of Troy. Uh, in my case, of course, I, I got the score, I, I get to read the music and to understand uh, how was the musical language that uh, it was used for, for, for this, uh, that Corselli used to, 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 to write this, this role. Uh, it's, it's a music that is in the middle, it's a, for me it's a music that is in between uh, the Baroque and the Classicism, so it would be like the Rococo style, the, the, the Galant uh, style of music. And then, of course, I tried as much as possible to get information about Achille, no? uh, going to, to Homero, so to Ilia, Iliada, on all these things that, that they wrote about Achille. To, to get information about his his different uh, characteristics, you know the the, the, the physical characteristics, the, the 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 education he got, the the temperament he had, and then I try to 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 put together with the libretto of Metastasio, which is I must say of course Metastasio, it's really really very 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 well written as Mestasasio was very careful to do many quotations about the famous skills of Achille, but not only the, 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 the skill for the war, but also how he was educated in music, in singing, and eloquence, also in the playing of the harp, how agile he was, body skill of course, and there is moments in the opera in which uh, libre libretto-wise is very well uh, done, very well written. So there is quotations of these famous uh, skills by, by Achilles. Uh, musically, uh, this role is uh, a role that is based more than in the, in the, in my opinion, it would not be like a, like a typical Handelian hero in which you find a, 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 a late Baroque writing full of coloraturas, full of, of passage of, of many notes. Here we go more into this, as I said before, this Rococo style. So it's very close with the words, more than the, with, the, with the line of, 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 of uh, coloratura. There is, of course, when, when I do Ada Capo, I have more freedom to maybe uh, make a word bigger in the sense of, 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 of expressing the emotion of the moment. Uh, so vocally it's, it's a very galant still uh, for singing. No? It will remind us Gluck and, and, and maybe a little bit of uh, this late, uh, this beginning of Mozart, this, this kind of things. Well, when, when I got this, this score, um, and then I start to read the music and to read the libretto. I must say that what, what uh, attracted me more was the story, the, 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 the plot. Why? Because it's not the, 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 the Achilles that, that, that everyone knows, I mean the, the Achilles of Troy, but it's a younger Achilles. So it gives you a little bit more of, of, of playing this kind of immature hero, you know, even if he is already educated, he's still immature. He doesn't uh, manage very well his temperament yet. I don't think he did later neither, otherwise <laughs> we would know, we would not know this promise about Patroclo and Troy, blah, blah. But um, th this was one of the things that I liked more, the fact to, to experiment this, this, uh, a uh, moment of the life of Achille, which is quite interesting. There's the fact that he, w he was hired by, by, her, by his mother orders. He was hired in this island, dressed as a, as a, as a girl. It, it, it's difficult to imagine, no? But then you get it there and it was, uh, it was, it was part of the story and, 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 and it's really very well done in the libretto and, and with the music. So if I must say, yeah, it's, it's this, this part of the, of the life of Achille which really attracted me. The, the happy ending uh, subject is, is, is really, it, it may have a different point of view. Of course, in our libretto, Achilles is in love with Deidamia. But 
with with these heroes, you know, uh, honor and glory was always heavier, was always deeper. Anything they did was because of honor and glory and about to be remembered, about their name being remembered through the ages. So, uh, everything we, we read ab ab about Achilles, of course, and in this case, Deidamia, the first, the first aria he has is, a, is, a, is a showing anger because of jealousy. So that makes us understand that he loved Deidamia, but does he love Deidamia? Or does he love himself more that some other prince will come to, to, to take Deidamia from him? You know what I mean? So, at the end, what, what is happening is, of course, uh, everybody knows because of, the, because of the story that Achille never come back and more, Achille died in Troy. So, the situation in the, in the libretto is that I think there is a moment in which the relationship gets a little bit cold because he is so, so hungry for fighting, for war, that it's a pity. But that is, is getting in, in his mind bigger, 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 maybe than the love for Deidamia. So he tries to play Deidamia, I'm, I'm going. I will come back, don't worry, but I need to go. I need to fight now. It was enough. And then this, there is a happy ending because, of course, I get married with her in the libretto. Mm. In the opera, it is a happy ending, but inside, when you go, when you go to a war, you don't know if you, if you will come back. And a warrior, especially if it's an epic warrior, they don't care if that gate alive or not. What they care? Honor, glory, and if their name will be remembered through the ages.